Um, so this is uh, referring to the reading, uh, <laughs> section 2.2 ancient astronomy. Um, so, and, uh, so that you, it's kind of getting you to do the actual calculation. It's uh, giving you an alternate numbers. <laughs> so suppose uh, the Greek philosopher who did the first known measurement of the uh, radius of the earth or the circumference of the earth uh, found that um, the angle measurement he made was a different. So in the reading, you will see that he found it to be one over 50th of a full circle. But what if uh, it's a one over 10th of a full circle? And uh, I don't remember if I randomized this number or not. I might have, if I did, then you might see a number slightly different from 10. But so, um, so then the question is what then would they have found for the earth as a circumference? And, um, and you know, here you can kind of just to guess at the number if you look at this and um, you're just uh, guessing maybe is it 10 times 5,000 and put in 50,000 and then get a, oh, I don't know if it'll, it will probably grade that as correct. Let me try it. Uh, even with a comma. <laughs> um, so if you get it right, then great. Uh, if you're guessing it right, I think that's fine. It's not uh, necessarily uh, problematic. But uh, one of the things I can do on the video <laughs> that's uh, a little bit harder to do in messaging or email is actually explaining uh, the reasoning process that goes behind um, that <laughs> answer, which is kind of easy to guess at. So so um, I guess that this is the geometric consideration. Sorry, I'm looking for my stylus. Um, this is the geometric consideration that comes in. Oh, I need my annotation, so <laughs> sorry. All this should have been ready. Uh, well, now I have it. All right. Um, so this is the geometric consideration that you see being worked out in the section. Um, so, Imagine this is the earth. And I think you are imagining kind of the side view of earth, where that's the North Pole, this is South Pole. And for one of the locations, um, uh, Cyan, it, so it's somewhere near the equator or along the tropic of whatever, so let's say this is um, cyan, and on this particular day um, in the year, the sunlight is coming uh, in a direction that, uh, so that it uh, kind of, the ray from the sun is passing through the cyan and the center of the earth. Uh, the story in the book, in the section was that on that day, you could sit down to the bottom of a very deep well. So, and what uh, Eratosthenes was, is assuming, and it seems to be true, is that the sunlight comes in parallel um, because sun is very far away. That's how we know. <laughs> um, the measurement he made is, uh, so at Alexandria, it, it, as he looks at a very tall, um, uh, the, um, Sorry, I need to draw this kind of semi-accurately. Um, okay, kind of, as it uh, looks at a very tall pillar, because the sun uh, at this uh, different location, the sun's ray will not be going through this point and the center of the earth, because now it's at a slightly different angle. So, the measurement that he made is uh, the measurement of the angle of the line from the center of the earth uh, through that point on earth to the tall pillar to the uh, angle of, uh, with the line that's a parallel to the rays of the sun. So these two would be parallel. And this angle is the angle that he measured. So, so this is where it involves a little bit of a geometry. Um, <laughs> whatever angle he measured here is the same angle that um, that would be there. It's the angle from the 
side uh, into the well yeah into the angle uh, from the cyan to the uh, Alexandria or yeah to the Alexandria and uh, and you know if you remember your geometry there's a whole congruent angle theorem you can use to figure out uh, parallel lines and uh, line that crosses it the alternating angles are congruent <laughs> so so the angle that he measures with the shadow is the same angle that it gives the uh, difference in the location of those two places. The key thing here is that the distance here is a fraction of the entire circumference. And the angle that he measures here as a fraction of the whole circle is the same fraction that this distance here, if it measures one tenth of a full circle, then this distance uh, this distance here represents one tenth of the whole circumference of the Earth. That's why, in order to calculate the circumference of the Earth, you would take this number and multiply it by what this fraction is. Um, it is off, and that gets you this answer here. 